The House expecting to vote tomorrow on sending articles of impeachment over to the Senate. Joining me now is House Minority Whip Steve Scalise. It's good to have you here because now there is some more movement that we see that um, this vote will happen tomorrow. Are you ready to have this just get underway? Yeah, Dana, hey, good afternoon. I think most people in the country, uh, first of all, didn't think that they should have gone down the road of impeachment. Pelosi was beholden to the radical left. Uh, but now that they've done this, let's move on and let's focus on things that really matter, lowering drug prices, mm -hmm. uh, addressing other issues. But uh, they had no case. Uh, they had such a weak case in the House. They're sending it over to the Senate. And you can even see Pelosi almost encouraging the Senate to mop up the mess of the House. But well, that's in not fact, their job. Senator Lamar Alexander said just because the House was a circus doesn't mean that the Senate has to be. Um, and um, Congressman Jeffries was actually defending uh, the policy or the practice of delaying these articles of impeachment for four weeks for whatever reasons. Uh, but he thinks that it has actually helped Speaker Pelosi's case. Take a listen. The Speaker's decision has created space for individuals like Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski and most recently Mitt Romney to publicly and expressly say individuals like John Bolton should testify if the Senate is going to conduct a fair trial. That alone was a tremendous objective that has been accomplished because what Mitch McConnell apparently wanted to do was move immediately to dismiss any impeachment articles that we sent over. Do you think that that is an achievement? Well, I think what he's acknowledging is that the House did not have a fair trial. Uh, everybody who looked at it objectively said it. They actually broke House rules by denying the minority the ability to call our own witnesses and have a day of hearings. Uh, Pelosi denied that. So they didn't want a fair trial in the House, but they said it was because of expediency. And they said they have to do it quickly, and then as soon as it passes, Pelosi holds the paper for weeks. Again, it's not the Senate's job to mop up the mess of the House, the fact that they didn't run a fair trial. If they wanted John Bolton, Dana, they could have subpoenaed John Bolton. They didn't. But we so also know, they didn't um, want him to come and we'll go back and talk to Ed Rollins and uh, Robert Wolf about this, but you know, there's this Quinnipiac poll asking Americans, do you think John Bolton, the former national security advisor, should testify? And the answer was 66% yes. But I think that that question is just not specific enough because in my experience, if you ask people, do you think there should be more information, almost everybody will say yes. Right. And I'm sure if you would have asked the question, do you think that Congress should be spending all its time impeaching and harassing the president versus focusing on lowering drug prices, passing the USMCA trade deal to create more jobs? I think the answer would be even higher uh, than that 66 percent saying, yes, stop the personal harassment, this political vendetta that Pelosi even admitted over the weekend. It's about trying to stain the legacy of the president. Frankly, it's Pelosi's legacy that will be impeachment now, uh, not President Trump's. So president you, Trump you is focusing on getting from, the economy back on track. You all just got back from your holiday uh, and or the holiday and you're uh, focusing on the future. You have the State of the Union on February 4th. But beyond that um, and with the acrimony being so um, tough right now between the Republicans and the Democrats on Capitol Hill, what could possibly do you think can get done before the end of the year? Well, there are real things, and, uh, and obviously you start with USMCA. We were able to pass that even in the middle of impeachment. It should have been passed and become law months ago. Six months ago, uh, people all across this country would have been getting uh, better trade deals. The people of Wisconsin would be able to sell their dairy products to Canada, for example. But that didn't happen because of impeachment. Right. We had a bipartisan agreement on lowering drug prices, where every Democrat and every Republican on the Committee that, of Jurisdiction came together and passed it. It should. It should have happened months ago. The president said he would have signed the bill. Families in America would be paying lower drug prices today, but Pelosi wouldn't bring that because of impeachment. I hope she does in the future, but she we'll hasn't see. shown an ability to want to work with the president to do anything that's good for the country if it involves the president having another uh, well, victory and that she, he can claim. And she has said that she thinks that this is the right thing to do. And uh, in fact, her spokesperson today said impeachment has nothing to do with politics. Congressman Steve Scalise. It's all Scalise. about politics for them. <laughs> Thank you so Go much. Go Tigers, Dana. Yes, congrats to your Tigers.